Namaste. In this session, we are going to look at concept of health and well-being as described in the contemporary literature and we will compare that with the yogic perspective. But before we move on to that, let us have a quick recap. So, in last 6 sessions, we have discussed about why a course on managing self uh, and how it is intricately connected with the managing career, why it is important. Then we looked at role of positive psychology and how uh, some of the concepts of positive psychology are common to the yogic perspective. And in the last 2-3 sessions, we looked at how positive psychology can be made complete with the confluence of yoga because yoga not only talks about positive experience, positive subjective experience, positive relationships or positive institutions, but yoga also talks about holistic life goals, different pathways of achieving those life goals, positive behavior, uh, positive characteristics in terms of uh, 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 daivi sampadas. We looked at positive experiences, we looked at how the dynamic nature, bivalent nature of the emotions are very well embraced in the yogic perspective. Uh, yogic perspective talks about the positive events uh, like yajnas or uh, sanskar, these are the positive events, positive institutions, marriage and uh, uh, patshala. We looked at two examples of the positive ins institutions uh, as uh, embraced, as explained uh, in the yogic tradition and we also talked about positive society. Uh, naturally, for the positive society, we need to have positive governance and yogic perspective give a very clear idea about the ideals of good governance which are essentially positive. So, we looked at these things and now we are going to look at a uh, notion of well-being and happiness in the psychology, in the positive psychology and in yogic tradition. In order to have a complete perspective uh, on well-being, I would like to bring your attention towards few examples. These are the examples taken from real life and most of us must have seen or experienced at least one of these uh, and these will be helpful for us to understand the core definition and core notion of well-being and uh, positive psychology. So, this is one caselet uh, of Gopal. He is a fourth year engineering student. Uh, this year is vital for Gopal because the final examination is around the corner and the placement is going to take place. On the top, Go, uh, Gopal is also preparing for the several entrance exams. Uh, Gopal's mother is very supportive and takes care of uh, Gopal's diet. So, Gopal is one of the uh, lucky students who could complete, who is able to carry out his education being at home, being with his parents. Uh, but Gopal is a mischievous boy. He is fond of eating outside and quite often does that without notice of his mother. So, mother always ask uh, Gopal, tell me what you wish to eat and I can prepare that for you at home. You need not to, you should not actually uh, eat it outside, but Gopal being like many, many other young uh, students or young people in our country or around the world, the, he, he wants to, uh, he loves to eat outside. So, Gopal is fond of eating food like burgers, noodles, lot of sugary chocolates and mother naturally and rightfully uh, term these as junk food. Uh, Gopal pays no heed to what his mother tells and assures her saying, do not worry mom, I will be alright. Uh, luck was not in favor of Gopal until the last examination when he fell seriously fallen ill and due to food poisoning and all his effort. Uh, go in vain. So, this is one case um, about the food. There is another case uh, of Samuel. So, Samuel is a handsome, good looking, charming man in his 20s. Uh, he is pursuing masters in management after BCom honours. Uh, he has a girlfriend from college. He meets another girl during PG. So, he developed infatuation towards this new girl. He started flirting with her and she became friend to him. 
Samuel for time being stopped talking to his previous girlfriend. After a year passed, he started missing his previous girlfriend. She naturally had complained, the previous girlfriend naturally had complained and uh, did not respond to his initial calls amicably, but then started responding after his pursual assuming that Samuel is finally uh, come back to her. Though after getting into a job which he found after which he which he got after MBA, uh, Samuel met a charming colleague who looked interested in him. Instead of being upfront about committed status, Samuel started flirting with this new girl as well. Uh, so, this girl and he developed intimate relationship within few weeks. A close male friend of Samuel, uh, Aftab, was the only one who was aware of all his, uh, uh, his three relationships. So, this friend asked the Samuel, Samuel why he is hoping from one romantic relationship to another one. He may get into trouble. Uh, Samuel said to Aftab that bro, if I am handsome, charming and sought after man, why should not I enjoy and have fun? Uh, why not enjoy the variety in life? Uh, over the years, Samuel had couple of other flings as well. His flamboyant image started hurting his reputation at work as well as in his society and community. When his girlfriend found out uh, about his other relationships and um, naturally they found uh, him untrustworthy, uh, they fought with him vehemently and threatened to take this issue with company HR. Uh, meanwhile, she, con uh, she contacted his uh, previous girlfriend of Samuel as well. So, this uh, new lady at work, she was able to figure out uh, about uh, Samuel's other girlfriends, she was able to meet with one of them and now Samuel, Samuel is in very strange situation. He has lost trust of his uh, girls, he was intimate to and reputation among his colleagues and friends and the complaint had, had reached to HR and he does not know what will happen. Let us look at the third case there. This caselet is about a character called Raja. Raja was very good student since his school days. Uh, he loved music and photography. He was also good at mathematics and his cousin in his family used to be talked about as role model. Uh, we all know that every, every family has few people who are talked about as role models uh, and this cousin was considered as role model because he was a software engineer, he did MBA from good institution and joined a consulting firm, uh, a consulting firm from his campus. Raja also used to feel to be like him uh, because this person, this cousin was praised by all the family members. He I mean Raja also joined a good engineering college after the school. Uh, he also worked in a telecom company after graduation. He also prepared for the CAT to enter the business school. He joined an IT firm in technical consulting role. For first year, he enjoyed his salary, perks and did not bother about any other thing. Gradually, he realized that he has a kind of disconnect with others at workplace. Uh, he did not enjoy office parties, was not excited about the next promotion or acquiring, he was also not very keen about acquiring. Uh, uh, highly valuable clients for his company or he was not enjoying the next level of complex uh, projects. What he used to look forward to was only Sunday trips of birding, the people who were birding uh, ornithologists or who actually fond of birding. So, he used to enjoy his Sundays where he would go for the birding and natural photography. These were the only solace for him during a week. Uh, he actually dragged in similar kinds of job till he was in 30s. So, he left one job, joined another company, remain excited for few weeks or maybe months and then again he, uh, his, his dislike about these kind of technical jobs surfaced. Uh, most of his friend are not from the workplace, not from his profession, but from the birding group. Uh, with changing technology so fast, he is constantly stressed out for his performance um, because if you do not enjoy, then you do not improve regularly. Uh, he cannot leave the job because 
he had already acquired loans to purchase a house, his lifestyle uh, was such there which demanded that much earning and family and over the years uh, every morning he drags his feet to office and once upon a time the kind of jobs and the kind of money um, he used to aspire for has uh, these things became a kind of uh, grudgery to him. So, if we look at these three cases, what is common in these three cases? The matters in these caselets were about food, sexual intimacy and social recognition. All three are otherwise considered important or rather synonymous to happiness. Individually, independently food, sexual intimacy or social recognition are not bad things. So, all these cases are about these things only. But if we look at consciously, these three things which looked fun or which looked very attractive to begin with did not turn out to be so joyful as the time passed and as our protagonist Gopal, Samuel and Raja actually indulge into these three much more than what they uh, were supposed to do. So, if we look at these cases, these cases tell that lasting happiness and well-being is not only having enough of money, social recognition, social intimacy or food. Well-being seem to be much more complicated issue than just having these things. So, that is why it is important to have a closer look to what actually well-being and happiness is. These cases deep down are asking about some fundamental questions of life. Those fundamental questions are what is good life? What is a life worth living? What is the meaning of life? So, term happiness connotes well with all that is good. In this perspective, it is frequently used analogous to terms such as well-being and quality of life and it signifies both individual as well as social welfare.